May 30th, Boulevard Heights Rec Center. Rusty Brooks, you might be my father, but I'm gonna show you why they call me the prodigy, j Dog Brooks. And as far as you tiny Jordan Rayner, I've already showed you I could take you out. I took your knee out, and this time, I'm gonna take everything you own right from underneath your nose. And it's on, when I come out there, May 30th, you will see j Dog, and you will feel the bite from the dog. May 30th at the Boulevard Heights Rec Center, J Dog Brooks. Yeah, you are my kid, but you better understand something. This is my student right now, big tiny Jordan Rayner. And J Dog, you know, you might think that I taught you everything you know, but brother, I didn't teach you everything that I know. And when Tiny gets done with you, if there's anything left, I'll give you the ass whipping I should have done 10 years ago. Commissioner Bobby Rogers, back with more Division I Pro Wrestling action. Now Johnny two times. Making his way here into the ring, into the ranks of D1 PW. I don't know what you call him, Johnny Johnny. Johnny two times, Johnny two times. I'm not really sure why he calls himself Johnny Two Times. Is that a nickname given to him by his wife or girlfriend? These are things we will find out here in the upcoming weeks and months in D1PW. And Johnny Two Times can be clapping now, but in a moment he's going to be in a different frame of mind as he's taken on the Beast. Someone whom I have seen, I have not had the pleasure of meeting yet. I have seen him compete and I've heard quite a few, let's just say, odd stories about this man. Definitely a man you want on your side. Odd, bizarre, and unusual person. I will say individual, but I have a feeling there's more than one personality upstairs in the mind of the beast. Johnny two times, tying up. Beast working over, Johnny two times, two times, fights back. Full steam ahead. Again, taking the beast down. Beast up to his feet real quick. And you know something? I think he kind of likes it. Johnny, four times knocking the beast down. Little shoulder tackles. Beast getting up for more, a glutton for punishment. Perhaps, but maybe just a sadist. As Johnny two times now. Charging in, smashing all that body weight into the Beast, but Beast still alive, gripping a headlock, holding on for dear life. Johnny 
it two times, able to get out of the headlock with the belly to back suplex. Down it two times. Sends the beats across, beats, ducks a clothesline. Comes back with a flying shoulder tackle. Sheik out of nowhere. Sheik has been absent from Demo PW recently. Sheik going after Beast and Johnny two times. Sheik setting Beast up for a suplex. He drops him stomach first. Oh! Just throws that chair. Referee knows to get out of the way. She throwing that chair around again. And look at the sick and devious minded fabulous Frank. No surprise behind it all. She just grabbing a hold of anything he can get his hands on. wanting a piece of the Sheik, and fabulous Frank, the maniacal weasel, and now a traitor. 
We'll be back with more D1PW. I have the match of my life. I have a match for the heavyweight title. This is bigger than any match I've ever been in. The heavyweight title means so much to me. So much. I've achieved winning the Caribbean Championship. I beat you, Tommy Vandal, for the Caribbean Championship. So what makes you think that I'm not going to walk away with the heavyweight championship? Sure. Sure, I'm the smallest guy in the match, but I'm the smartest guy in the match. I haven't lost a match in a little over seven months now in D1PW. You guys call it what you want, the last match, whatever, but I won. And I'm going into this heavyweight title match looking for a championship. Not only one belt, but two belts around my waist. Maybe one around my waist, one around my arm. Doesn't really matter. The fact of the matter is that I'm going to walk out May 30th, the heavyweight champion. And then all the look, all the look on all you little fans, all the yo-yos in the ring. Wow, Johnny Vandal did what he said he was going to do. He is the new heavyweight champion. So what is he going to do now? Doesn't even matter. Does not even matter. As long as I win the heavyweight championship May 30th, which I will do, the sky is the limit. The sky is the limit. And that is my motto. And come May 30th, I'm going to be the heavyweight champion. So Tommy, Bruce, and Lou, watch your back. I'm coming for that title. <laughs>